Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Asebi, and today we're going to talk about the Bank of America 234 rule. But first, if you are new here, we're all about how to maximize the value of your credit cards, so basically how to get the most cash back, and also how to travel for free. If that sounds interesting, then subscribe to our channel, but let's get started. So this was first discussed by Doctor of Credit, who basically confirmed it with Bank of America, but it's pretty interesting. It's not as restrictive as a few of the other rules, but I still think it's worth considering. The 234 rule basically says that you can only get two Bank of America cards every two months, three Bank of America cards every 12 months, and four every two years. These are rolling months, so for example, if I got a Bank of America card on August 1st of 2017, and then I got another one on September 1st, I would have to wait until October 2nd before I could get my third card. If I applied in September, then I would get rejected. I'm not really sure what happens if you apply on October 1st, since it's technically past the two months mark. I would technically recommend waiting though, just because to me it's not worth the hard inquiry just to risk it. Bank of America is implementing these rules in two different ways. The first way is rejections, so obviously that's pretty straightforward. You apply for a card, you get rejected for it. The other way is a bit worse just because it gives you a bit more hope. So you apply for the card, you end up getting approved for it, they even mail you the card sometimes, but afterwards they'll tell you that you were approved in error. They basically tell you that yes you were approved, but it was a mistake, therefore the card is no longer active. From my understanding, it basically doesn't show up in your credit report, so that's not too bad on that part, but it still doesn't feel great. To me at least, this rule doesn't seem too bad, especially once you look at how it works and you compare it to something like the Chase 524 rule. Unlike 524, the 234 rule is only based off your Bank of America cards, not all of your cards, so it basically works in a way that most people think the 524 rule works for some reason, even though I've kind of explained it ad nauseum. Once you factor that in and once you consider Bank of America's lineup of cards, I don't see most people pushing against this rule. If you're someone who has a lot of money with Bank of America, you probably maybe have one or two of their cards, probably the Cash 123 card, as well as the new travel card. If you're someone focused on travel rewards, you're probably looking at the Alaska card, the Amtrak card, as well as the Merrill Plus card that no longer exists. In the past, people also went after the MLB cards since they had a $200 for $500 of spend signup offer, so 40% return on spend, and also the Better Balance Rewards card, which still exists but you can't apply for it anymore. If you're someone still relatively young, I wouldn't really worry about Bank of America. Maybe get it as one of your first cards as a foundation card, but beyond that, their travel cards aren't that great. You're better off looking at Amex and Chase. Again, for me personally, I have a bunch of better balance rewards cards, which I'm going to keep long term, just because they pay me money to use it every month. As a side note, I get a lot of messages asking me why I would have multiples of the same card. If a card pays you $25 every quarter or $30 every quarter if you have a bank account with them and all you need to do is to spend maybe a few dollars on it every month, to me that's a no-brainer. Yes, you do have to pay off the card in full, but that's something I do with other cards anyways, so it's not really changing my behavior. Again, maybe I'm weird, but for me, if I find something that's advantageous or makes sense for me, I'm going to buy multiple of them. I have multiples of the same shirt, I have the same sweaters in different colors, I also have the same workout shoes that I use, I actually have three different pairs of them just because they were so good and I found them on sale. Moving on from this tangent, yes there is a new rule by Bank of America, but overall I don't see it affecting most people. So I hope that was helpful and let me know if you guys have any questions. My question for you guys is what are your thoughts on this rule? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, it really helps us out. And if you know anyone else who'd benefit from what we just talked about, feel free to share this video with them because it's probably going to help them out. But otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.